this Irish team got in its locker from this set piece it central so they go wide to Megan Connolly and Connolly sends the ball in O'Sullivan will retrieve Fahey on the ground here's McCabe she wants to shoot McCabe and it's deflected there's the goal Katie McCabe with the goal Brilliant, and it's clever, you know, stick the ball out wide. Megan Connolly has a wicked delivery. And the ball just comes back to the one and only Katie McCabe, the one person you'd want to be receiving the ball right on the edge of the area, on her left foot with two yards of space. Have a, have a look at that. Takes a deflection. Yeah, I wonder where it was going originally, but you know what? I actually don't care. Where... And Payne picking out O'Sullivan. And O'Sullivan has McCabe unmarked, and Katie McCabe hopes the scoring for a terrific shot. Yeah, and that's really clever play from Ireland because what you can see there is Georgia had their, their bank of four and their bank of five. And five of them in there to discommode the defence. Connolly's corner, a lot of air on that. Louise Quinn, Fahey scores her first international goal. Let's just have another look at this. No, definitely not. That's ahead. So McCabe once again. And it's in! And it's Megan Connolly. 18th minute, 3-0. Perfect ball in from Katie McCabe. And it's gone for Katie McCabe again, unmarked on the edge of the box. Oh, yes! Well, the goal coming in stoppage time at the end of the first half. Ireland's fourth at halftime in Gori. It's the same as it was in Tala. Well, from the corner, Ireland keep the pressure on. Connolly, who took the corner with the cross. And the back post. It's Louise Quinn to make it five. Good management from Ireland from the second phase from the corner. Louise Quinn stays in there. You know, we can see that there's an opportunity to get the ball back. Meanwhile, Katie McCabe. And another. So simple. And Louise Quinn. But Katie's delivery is exceptional here. And Louise just judges the flight of the ball. She knows exactly where she is in relation to the goal and, and just gets a deft touch. And another Louise Quinn header. Fahey, Connolly. McCabe, hat trick. What a finish. You can't answer that, can you? Called well towards Sue. Larkin! Oh, yes! First international goal for Abby Larkin. Brilliant. Diane Caldwell sweeping it wide. Sue with a header and the finishing header from the 17-year-old. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice passage of pay. Beautiful ball in from Diane Caldwell and Jess Sue just has that awareness. She knows she just wins. Lucy Quinn, and good to see Ireland coming forward still. Denise O'Sullivan. Oh, no chance for the goalkeeper. Wonderful finish by Denise O'Sullivan. Gets her name on the score sheet. I'm going to credit her and say she meant every second of it. She just knew exactly what she was doing, bringing the ball around, tees it up, and gives herself the space. Void necessary. In the back line, you can have the freedom to do that. You don't always have to be free as a defender. You can mark, and I think that gives 
the attacking option then out wide left for, for Megan Connolly to, or Megan Campbell to get forward. Connolly there. Free kick from Connolly. And a header breaks the deadlock. Yeah, it's a good delivery in again from Megan Connolly. We know how good she is in these set pieces. And it's Lily Ag, I'm sure, delighted to find herself in such space. I don't know what the Finland defenders are doing, but we'll take it. Brilliant header. She's brave. She knows the keeper's coming there. It's a great header to get the goal. Get in front and get the get the header on goal as a session. Zoo Swift. And now Sullivan. And O'Sullivan on for Payne. And Zoo and O'Sullivan in the middle, but the Oh, it's come to O'Sullivan! Yes. And there is the lead goal. She knew where the dangerous wa danger was down that right hand side with Heather Payne. It's a brilliant play from uh, Jeff Sue. And as I said, Denise O'Sullivan, we know how good she can be. It's a brilliant finish. Fine standing firm. Now it's O'Sullivan. And there's the run of Barrett. And Barrett's giving herself a chance here. Amber Barrett in on goal. Amber Barrett yes. makes the breakthrough. That was sheer brilliance from Amber Barrett. The first touch to take her clear was absolutely terrific. And Amber Barrett kneels in celebration in honour of the Donegal folk who passed away in the disaster in Chrysler. It's brilliant, brilliant from Amber Barrett. You can see the touch, she sets herself, doesn't panic at any moment. It's a great first touch out of her feet. Looks where the keeper is, and it's a toe puck into the far corner. It's a brilliant composed finish from Amber Barry. What a better way to, you know, showcase what they're really about. There's the first of the Megan Campbell long throws, which uh, somewhat inhibiting given the, the surrounds of this pitch. Campbell coming on to this here, and Campbell scores! Well, what a finish that was. What a way to take the opportunity. Just the second minute. O'Sullivan did it, and look at this. She saw what she was doing, put the... McKay against Zuair. Well, she guessed right, but uh, there was enough power in the shot to find the net, and Ireland go 2-0 up. Back in the net. Just enough power in it to get underneath the dive of Asia Zuair. McKay. Quinn going in round the back. Quinn still in there. Oh, my goodness, we is there. On her hundredth cap, the most outrageous goal you'll ever see scored. That to celebrate our 100th cap is quite remarkable. Written in the stars. Written in the stars is right. Terrific. <laughs> and now Gorman. And Carusa. Yes. There's number four. Glancing header from the birthday girl. So if we got the Centurion gets a goal on her 100th cap to make it 4-0. Brilliant ball in by O'Gorman, though. Oh, yeah. Perfect, on a plate. And Caruso didn't. 